Hello Scorpio. I know it's a late forecast. It nearly didn't get posted this month. Pluto and Uranus have turned my life upside down. But so many of you wrote to me, I thought I must do at least a short forecast for you. Better late than never, as they say. So on the 5th of March, we've got a full moon in Virgo. And this full moon is happening in your 11th house up here. So Scorpios, um, a full moon shines a light on a particular area in your life, gives you a reality check. And often there's a culmination of something happening. So in the 11th house, this is a culmination maybe of a dream or a wish that you've had. Or maybe it's time to reevaluate your dreams and your wishes, the things that you've been working towards. Maybe it's a time to look at things differently, look at your friends, your friendships, the people you're surrounding yourself with. Are you surrounded by people who are uplifting or are you feeling drained of your energy? This full moon is going to shine a light on what's working and what's not, because with um, in the fifth house with the sun and Neptune going on opposite that, maybe you've been fooling yourself. Maybe you haven't wanted to see a reality of a situation. Sun and Neptune here, maybe there's been a situation with a younger person where you feel as though you've been maybe let down or somebody needing more from you than you've been able to give. Or there could be something very romantic happening in your life with Sun and Neptune here and there's something where um, there are practical steps to be taken to make this romance into something more tangible and real. It would also be looking at your creative skills. I mean you're very creative Scorpios many of you. Are you using those creative skills? Again the Virgo moon will help you to identify what they are and steps to move forward with them. 9th of March, we've got rather a fortunate aspect happening between Jupiter and Uranus. I've no pens, I left them in the store because so much is happening. I, I really, I'll share more in the newsletters, but um, so I'm improvising. And Jupiter and Uranus here, that could be something fortunate happening in the workplace. Just some good news, something happy that happens. On the 11th of March, we've got Mars and Uranus coming together in Aries. This is volatile. This is explosive. So something happening in the workplace, potentially, as far as work is concerned. So uh, this is not the best day for uh, a discussion, for mediation, for negotiations. I would just leave it and cool it on that day. But it is a good day for getting a lot done very quickly and for starting something new. Um, on the 13th of March, we've got Mercury also coming into this fifth house. So Mercury there, it's a good time to think about a business, to maybe get some more information about how to promote a business idea that you've got that you'd like to take further. And also a good time for maybe teaching, teaching and writing and sharing something that you feel really passionate about and excited about. And on the 16th of March, finally, we have the last of seven squares. I've been talking about this for years, but it's the last one between Pluto and Uranus. So Pluto and Uranus going on for you very much. A lot of shaking up for many of you, maybe with your health, your physical well-being, your work area, studying, needing to learn, maybe to train for a new career. Maybe with your general environment and surroundings, maybe you've moved or had to move or thinking of moving, but a lot happening in so much of our world has been very turbulent. March is still quite a turbulent month, but after that, I'm not saying things are going to settle because Uranus in Aries is not a settling energy, but things, you know, as long as you've claimed your individuality, what is different about you and you are showing that and not allowing anybody to put you down and hold you back in any way or control you, then this should feel like a relief, like new things happening and new shoots of spring arriving. And on the 17th of March, we've got Venus coming into your seventh house, which is a lovely aspect for those last two weeks of the month. Scorpios can bring romance. If you're already in a relationship, makes the relationships run more smoothly 
and it's a good time for negotiating any kind of a contract or any kind of an agreement. And on the 20th of March, we've got a super moon, new moon, solar eclipse happening in Pisces. So also in this fifth house, and it's at 29 degrees, the very last degree of that moon, of that energy. So um, maybe there's some loose ends to tie up. And you know there are loose ends to tie up. Maybe you've been avoiding them. Time to do that. Maybe you need to declutter. Maybe you need to throw something out. But it's time for really maybe looking at a creative skill that you've got and learning how to market it so that you can make it into something more. This is good for musicians, for entertainers, for self-employment. These are great aspects. So my Scorpios, I wish you a great month. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.